Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, welcome back to this new fireside chat in uh, Andorra. This time we are hosting. Uh, she's a uh, CEO and founder of um, Rookie, which is a new app that intends to bring the recruitment uh, game to a new level. This is kind of a super exciting project to share with you all. Uh, once again, thank you very much to uh, Ingeni Coworking and High Five Andorra Space for letting us do um, this uh, fireside chat uh, live for all, all of you. And um, let me introduce you, Sheila. Presenter mode on. We should have her in a few seconds. Hello. Sheila. Hello, everyone. How's everything going? Pleasure to meet you again. Nice to meet you again, too, Juan. So, uh, to start with, to begin with, um, let me uh, tell you all that Sheila, she's an amazing a new entrepreneur. She's a newcomer to Andorra, just only a few months here. Uh, she's feeling a little bit how things work. So, uh, she was, uh, she's an ex-professional basketball player. She has a great career, a um, few years in the Basketball Club Barcelona. So she was living in Spain. Uh, I know she speaks Spanish perfectly, but uh, just to make her feel more comfortable, we will try to run this in, in English with my English. <laughs> uh, but I, I think we, we will have a nice, uh, a nice talk today. So please, uh, Sheila, uh, let, us know, let us know a little bit more about you. Uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> How your um, trip to Europe started? Uh, I know that you started a few a project that is based off Rookie a few years ago. So please uh, share with us. Yes. Uh, first, uh, thank you, Juan, for having me, and also high five Andorra and Engine um, for the hospitality. Um, I came to Andorra af just yeah in September. Uh, with a lot of ambition to be an entrepreneur and be in a beautiful country, in a new country, after being in Barcelona for five years. Uh, almost, I almost, I moved out of Barcelona almost exactly to the date that I mo arrived there. So uh, I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, I came to Barcelona. Uh, I arrived to Barcelona, as you said, as a basketball player. Um, at just out of university. I graduated from university in 2013. Uh, I did my master's at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland and finished that in 2015 and came to Spain in 2015 and fell in love with the culture, fell in love with the environment, fell in love with the weather um, and have been here ever since. And, and actually um, moved to Andorra, like I said, with the goal and the ambition of being a full-on entrepreneur, and also I think a part of being an entrepreneur means experiencing new places and new things, and and that's I, that's I always had inside me um, is to travel and to be in different places. So I'm um, really pleased to be here. Um, when I was in Spain, uh, 2017, 2018, I started to really understand um, the system of sport and the dynamic of sport as a culture um, on the international level. Um, when I was in doing my master's, I studied sports policy, management, and international development. Um, so I had the theoretical side of it. But then once you get to Spain, you get, an, or anywhere, I suppose, you really get to start understanding it more. And that's what happened when I arrived to Spain is I saw how important sport was not only for Americans, but everyone else. Um, and I think in America, as an American, we have this uh, exceptionalist, uh, one of a kind idea of ourselves until because we don't know what's out there. Um, and so when I came to Spain, I learned what was out there and I learned that there's an immense world of uh, talent on all levels, uh, especially for sport. And I wanted to provide individuals with that opportunity to take their talent to the best, the highest level they could. And that's why I started Dixon Sport, which is the 
foundation of Rookie, and it's what I use to later develop Rookie. Uh, Dixon Sport um, is a predominantly basketball uh, program. We take uh, athletes from Spain and other uh, bordering con uh, European countries to the U.S. to compete. I have players um, who are who have been fortunate and lucky enough, but also have the talent to play in the U.S. at the high school level, at the uh, university level, and the biggest thing I realized and what helped me to help to inspire rookie was that these players and their parents never knew it was an opportunity and they never knew that it was something that they could aspire to do. Whereas for an American, we know it's something we can do from the time we're five years old. You, you can go and play at the university level with a scholarship, which means your parents don't have to pay and, and get an education. And I said, why is it that international people, students and, and families don't really have the information for that or the means to access that? And that's when I, that's what really started to, when rookies started to uh, sizzle and it started to uh, come into my brain how to develop a, a product, um, an, experiment, uh, an experience or a platform for, uh, international students as well as American student athletes. Um, and that's where Rookie began. And then what really pushed it into overdrive, partly because I had a lot more time on my hands was COVID. COVID has uh, closed a lot of avenues for a lot of individuals around the world, as we all know, in any, in any sector, in any industry, the virus has really slowed things down, but for student athletes, uh, aspiring student athletes who would like to explore their opportunities to go to the United States and study at the uh, university level and play their sport. For many of them, it's completely been halted. And I said, because they haven't been able to be recruited because coaches can come and interact, there's no relationship anymore. Uh, and really, uh, I kicked off the project 100% back in July. I started doing all of my uh, research to get where I am today. Okay, so uh, we can say that Dixon Sport is basically, as you said, the, the foundation, mm -hmm. but it's the physical model of what a uh, rookie is now, of Correct. the idea of rookie. Correct. Uh, and it's, it's a quite interesting thing because this COVID situation, uh, it had some critical and negative impact in many different businesses, but at the same time, it created a wide range of new opportunities for others to reinvent themselves, to apply the digitalization or go into an um, app model mm -hmm. uh, from their businesses. And I think that your idea, not only to make things easier, but also to expose those uh, hidden gems mm -hmm. in other countries to those opportunities. Right. Uh, I, I really think that this is a great idea. And um, it can also apply not only to sport, but some other kind of um, recruitment process Correct. with talent, right? Right. So uh, I want, I've, I've used, and I think I, I suppose some of you being entrepreneurs are very familiar with Upwork, Fiverr, these type of marketplace for talent. Um, yes. And uh, in the United States, uh, there are these recruiting platforms and, and things of that nature. It's very similar, but they ha it has a very small market. Um, it's very predominantly American and it's very expensive. And so like you're saying, I, for having a mar marketplace for talent for, for sports, but also for fine arts, for musicians. Uh, the, the concept that I'm, I'm developing is expandable to these other niche or, 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 or more concentrated uh, uh, areas of talent. And so well, that's one of the things that I, I'm really excited about is that this is growable and in, and can reach millions of people and that's what that's what I want I want I want people to be able to display their talent but also be rewarded for it and I think we're living in a world like with TikTok and and while I find that in, in many ways TikTok is an interesting app 
it is a platform to dis for some people to demonstrate their talent, but it doesn't go as far as to enhance people's lives and, and help them to further their education or provide them international or global experiences that are going to not only help them, but also help them be exposed to the world and provide the world with more talented people. Okay, okay. That's, right. that's right. And uh, I find that your experience um, as American and the model of how um, Americans treat the, this relationship between sports and, and education, that is a kind of a unique in the world, I would say, um, allowed you to offer this new uh, project to the, to the young uh, players that they want to expose, that they want to show mm -hmm. off a little bit, you know, like, okay, look, look what I can I do. And uh, okay, why not? Uh, I, why I wouldn't get that chance being in this platform of being recruited for some university or some club that they can um, get interested in in myself, right? Right. Uh, I, I think that your idea of uh, starting with the U.S. model is is quite interesting because, as you said, TikTok uh, only expose yourself but nothing else, it, it, it gives you nothing extra, uh, just a lot of audience in the best of cases. But uh, you are also offering this um, chance of being uh, educated somewhere else, have a new um, or better lifestyle or better chances of a new life uh, for those who doesn't have the means or the, the contacts to get there. So that, that's a great thing. So uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how it works? Uh, let's say I'm a junior high uh, student. I, I do very well at basketball. Uh, how get how will I get to the platform and what would I expect from it? Right. So with this app, uh, this platform, you're able to create an account uh, very similar to other social media accounts like Instagram, for example. Um, I want the, the idea was to model it, to make it favorable to as many people, easy to use. Um, you create an account, putting the first thing, that, importantly, where you're from, what country, um, what sport or sports do you play? Um, the basic information to create your profile, your your basic profile. Um, in order to have develop your profile more, you have the option of, uh, and this is when it comes. To, I can explain a little bit about the business model. Um, we have we work on a freemium uh, business model where you have a basic package where you get you have a basic profile, and then with our silver package, you have more perks. Uh, similar perks would be in this package, you can upload a video um, showcasing your talent we, in, in sports, that's your highlight film. Um, you can s upload photos of yourself. And importantly, very important for the US model of college recruitment is you can upload your, your, your school information, your marks, your grades, um, as well as your transcripts. And that all from our side will be able to be verified, which is the important part is what the information that is being uh, included on the website, excuse me, the app is going to be verified. Um, and for the and for any athlete around the world, they'll have access to this, this um, there to be creating a user profile. We call it the athlete profile and essentially develop their personal brand or their um, pro player profile. Um, it's like I said, it's very easy, very similar to any other uh, app that you have to sign up for and then develop your profile. That profile then becomes a part of the database and is being, you can access it uh, or other people can access your, your, your profile and see what you're about. Okay, so uh, as far as I can understand, trying to link um, this personal profile as, as a player with the opportunities, uh, I will have also the chance to um, be exposed to other players, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. uh, maybe some likes or some you know networking features, but also there will be access, like a professional access for recruiters, universities, or other kind of um, clients that are on the other side. Uh, that they will review my profile and maybe contact me or send me a message or 
uh, review my, my videos or that kind of stuff, right? That's correct, exactly. So that's the important key is it's not just a platform for the players. It's also a platform for the university coaches, recruiters, and scouts. Um, there are a few websites that do similar uh, a similar thing, but it's much more cold calling. The websites just send the universities a flood of emails and player information. We're making this direct to, between the player and the coach, the communication. If a player, if a coach likes a player, he's going to be able to send him a request to begin communicating with him. Right now, that's very limited, especially for international uh, student athletes. They don't have, coaches don't know where to find them if they're not on the national team and so what we do is we have a market for the players um which is an immense international market think just to give you guys a bit of numbers in the international market just in europe alone there are 6.5 million in athletes between the age of 15 and 19 playing competitive sport and in, in america there are 8 million so that's 15 million just in the european union in the united states when you combine other parts of Europe and Asia and Africa, that number quadruples. We're talking about 60 million athletes that between the ages of 15 and 19 competing at the competitive level. Obviously not all of them want to go to the US, nor, there's, nor is there a spot for everyone, but that's our market. We have the ability to reach out to 60 million individuals um, and then the younger ones that are coming up too, which is going to be, it's also our market is the one that is buying kids that are 11, 12 and 13 years old. There's no, we're at the recruitment process in the United States. They start recruiting at 14 years old. So for a kid that is 13, he can start, he can start putting his profile on there too. But just to give an idea, uh, yeah, we're talking about anywhere from 50 to 60 million athletes that could potentially arrive to the platform if if reached the, the correct way. I get it. I get it. That, that's impressive numbers. And uh, well, I, I think that coaches and universities, uh, recruiters are will be very happy about this, yeah. <laughs> that you are you know, bringing to the market a tool that uh, makes their life easier, I would say. Uh, if it was me, I would really like to have uh, a place where to bookmark my favorite uh, or you know, or follow up for several players that I would need for next season or next years um, without all the costs and expenses of you know traveling and watching and especially now with all this, the restrictions. Um, I think that if everything goes well in in the in the near future, you can expand the the recruitment. Uh, plans for other countries, not only for the U.S. model? Right. Right. I, I do believe so. So, um, for example, when I was in Scotland, I was recruited uh, to to finish my master's at the University of Edinburgh. Um, the, the, uh, countries like Scotland and in Asia, they have also university programs, um, university sports programs within their within their structure. And it's and while it's not as popular or or embedded in their structure as in the United States it is some it is a part of their university therefore um, this this app is easily transferable to other countries again we're not limit I don't this app doesn't limit you to be you don't have to be an American coach to join the app you can be a coach from anywhere even a club um, and, and and recruit players my objective is not to make a one way street to the United States. But my, 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 my objective is to bridge as many people through sport as possible and as many, and see the talent that we really have in the world. And that can be displayed in the US later on, or, but it can also be displayed in, in clubs that are more popular in Europe um, or other university programs such as in China. Okay, that's quite interesting. So uh, let, uh, let me ask you something. Is the, the the first version of the app limiting any kind of sport? Uh, because I know that you have a basketball background and that could be easier for you to start, I would say. Uh, so, but, but uh, let us know because uh, in Europe, basketball is very important, but football, I would, I, I would say that's more relevant. Uh, for especially for you know, for children, um, but what what are your uh, what is your idea about the your next invite? So 
for the MVP, uh, we have a we've already researched the top sports um, and top international athletes first because it's, uh, that come from Europe or other parts of the world to the United States. So as you say, those sports are definitely football because and we say soccer in in uh, in America. Um, mm -hmm. But football is one of the top recruited sports because, let's just be honest, football players from Europe are better than American ones. Um, and coaches want to win, so they're going to recruit the best, right? Uh, and all, all the other sports, much more individual. Swimming, tennis, um, golf, volleyball. Uh, there are actually 15 sports that are highly recruited from international um, countries to the American universities. And so we'll be we're in our MVP, pro, uh, MVP, excuse me, MVP, we will have at least those 15 sports to start. Oh, that's amazing. That, that's really yeah, amazing. Yeah, that's, that's going to help us to get users right away. And we don't, the thing is, I don't want to be limiting because I know how important different sports are for different cultures. There, we even, we, one of our sports is cricket, for example, and rugby, because in the United States, they're becoming varsity sports at the collegiate university level. So having that, that number of sports means that we can open the door to a lot more people. Okay, that, that's that's amazing. Um, I was reading a little bit of your website. Uh, I saw a few updates, that's great. Uh, especially the section for investors, all those investors that are watching this interview and they're uh, maybe interested in to know more about uh, the Rookie app and the Rookie project, please uh, contact her. Um, and I can see the roadmap, which is quite interesting. I have it here with yeah. me. So. At this very moment, you are uh, building the MIP and also in the fundraising pro um, stage. Yes. Uh, and uh, can you share with us a little bit about uh, how much are you seeking? I, I think that you already made some investment investments on your own, uh, but you need some extra uh, budget to you know afford the next uh, years. So. Please. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, this project and in, in total, uh, I, we're seeking the first uh, initial uh, investments of 135,000 euros. Um, that's roughly $165,000. Um, and and that's to continue. That's to develop the full product and be able to launch in September 2021. And then uh, give us a one dedicated year to reach our first goal of customer um, acquisition. Uh, um, so a, por a portion of that's going to go definitely to marketing. Another portion of that's going to go into the full product development. And the other part, part of that is going to be developing uh, the rookie team. Okay, that's great. Uh, it's not that much amount of money for this project. I, I think for what I, I believe this can be. So it's a, it's a great start. And uh, what... Uh, what is your plan for uh, launch the MVP? How, how will it be done? Uh, will it be finished to test for those who wants to know more to try the platform, maybe for give you some feedback? Right. Okay. So exactly. That's our the MVP is to do research and tweak anything we need to tweak to make sure by time we're ready to launch the full product, it's ready to go, and we don't have to make any serious improvements or updates. Um, so we are going to be uh, opening it to a select uh, a group of individuals. Um, for example, with Dixon Sport, we have over 5,000 committed st student athletes already. Um, so the idea is to test it as much as possible in the first two months that we have it to be able to then uh, improve where needs, improvements need to be made and then be able to launch by September. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, just after summer, so uh, it's a great day. It's a great timing. And uh, l let me know: Do you have uh, already any contacts with um, universities or clubs uh, or coaches in the U.S. that they are willing to, you know, give the first try to the to the platform? Yes, uh, I'm really excited because this was something that I've been working on and I haven't been able to. I am really excited to uh, announce that we've been working with a couple of the. Um, coaches associations in the NCAA, the National College Athletic Association. Um, there's, for example, there's the NABC, which is the National Athletic 
uh, American Basketball Coaches Association, and that's just for the men's side. But there's the WABCA, which is the women's side as well. And, and just in those two organizations alone, there are over 1,000 coaches who are interested in wow. joining. And this is just basketball. And so we're, and again, I'm starting where I know best. Um, and then I'm expanding uh, and we're going to expand. We, we really want to talk um, with the coaches uh, and, and football because that's another important aspect. And coaches are interested. And one of the thing, fortunate things I have is I've been able to communicate with my college coach, my university coach. And one of the first things she told me is, there are there are very limited resources uh, currently for college coaches, and that's why rookie is appealing because it can it's providing something that is much easier, much more cost efficient to the universities themselves. Imagine uh, college coaches have a head coach, they have an assistant coach, they have a recruiting coach. The recruiting coach can make anywhere from fifteen to thirty trips a year. And which costs a lot of money uh, for the for the university, and so what rookie does is it makes it a bit easier. It puts everything right in their hand. If they really are interested, of course they can go travel and see the player, um, and that's what we're working on. And yes, I'm really excited to say that we are getting more interest every day from college coaches and other recruiters, even just university recruiters, which is which I wasn't anticipating. I was anticipating communicating and discussing with the coaches, the athletic directors, but universities are ultra interested in, in, in expanding their international profile for students, not student athletes, just students. So while that's not our, that's not our objective, just as we mentioned before, being able to expand for other talent is, is, is very likely in our, in our future. And that's a great thing to, to know. Okay, so uh, first of all, congratulations, because uh, <laughs> I know how hard it can be to start uh, getting attention on something that you are just working on, uh, but you are getting it and uh, you know, getting the talent in, in the platform, as long as you make it um, attractive, as you say, so with this social network style, uh, it will be kind of easy, but what you really, uh, need to get attention from is of the coaches and the universities as you just said and that you've been able to pull this off uh so quickly uh means a lot uh, for the project i would say and uh, congratulations again about with your skills and contacts uh, for making it possible um i'm thinking that this can have a nice turn uh as you said, you're starting with uh, basketball because it's what you know best. But since you are bringing a solution that can be uh, scale, not only scalable, but uh, implemented in, in some other uh, fields related to this recruitment process, uh, you can have a, maybe a good surprises uh, in, in, the, in the near future after lunch um, just because of, of um, that flexibility. Uh, if, if I was um, a recruiter and maybe not sport recruiter, maybe I would be interested as well to just say, hey, can you add uh, some other kind of profiles? Mm -hmm. uh, so you can have this uh, whole application with different profiles, like, as you said, uh, sports, uh, music, or I don't, know, I don't know, arts or other kind of uh, skills right. that requires to be appealing to, to this kind of uh, people or organizations. Um, what else? I, I, I did want to say, because I, I don't think I really addressed the need, right? So there's there's two elements that I've noticed that are the important parts of the why this is important and why uh, I'm my target market is more the international market than the American market. Because again, in the American market, we, got, we already know, we have the know-how, we have the access, but the international market there's such limited information and the people that have the information are exploiting it for a lot of money. That means a huge portion of the market is being left out because they can pay $20,000 to get the information, not, not get access, just get the information. There's no guarantee. 
And that's that's the big that's the that's the important thing that I've learned and and my time helping players already to get to the United States is the parents don't know how the coaches don't know how. And so the problem we're fixing with rookie is we're making sure everybody has the means and the access, which is a huge for 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 me and being as uh, socially aware, having access to information, having access to be able to possibly uh, achieve something is very important. And that's what Ricky does. It opens the door to millions of more people um, who want to be just like me and, and live the experiences I did. And I was very fortunate because I just happened to be American and I just happened to be, have genetic uh, uh, <laughs> abilities. Um, yes, and, and, and it just happened that you are a great basketball player and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So <laughs> it just happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we all know that this is not just like that because uh, it's also the way you are your goals, your uh, commitment to the sport and to you know, training, hard training and to make it happen. But yes, it, it is true that maybe you were born in a well, land of, of more opportunities or where the standard of doing things is uh, completely different than Europe or other um, parts of the world. And, uh, you know, this is something amazing what you just said about being social aware. Uh, of what people is doing with the information, limiting options to those who do, doesn't have the resources, right. uh, those who don't have the resources to, as you said, even get the information to see what their mm -hmm. options are. So uh, bringing this um, platform to the to the to the market and uh, enable them to, well, not needing to have the information but the possibility of being exposed. Um, To, to those opportunities is just uh, an amazing thing. Uh, I truly believe that this will be a, kind of a game changer for many organizations as coaches and also players uh, or another kind of talent that, that the, the platform will host in the future. Uh, and I truly wish you the best of luck with this. I'm pretty sure that everyone here tonight is um, waiting to see, <laughs> waiting for more big news because um, this is something that I would like to, to test myself. Uh, I will create my profile as a non-skilled uh, athlete, <laughs> maybe as a programmer. Uh, but, uh, but I really like this to, to, to go out and to, 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 you know, to, to be very successful. Thank you. I think you are uh, an amazing woman behind this, uh, this project with a great global idea of what needs to be done uh, to make that bridge possible. And also, as far as I know, you made uh, you are making all this by yourself. Mm -hmm. So it has a kind of a double um, puntuation, double points for you. <laughs> so uh, let us know what are your idea of uh, the perfect team to work for you, to join Rookie, oh. if someone is may be interested in it well i'm looking for uh well as you said this is something that i've developed and and, and put forth uh 100 on my own i've um outsourced the development of the app uh as of now um but i'm looking for individuals to help with marketing um some uh team members for uh also the development and upkeep of the app And I'm also, I, I don't pretend to be the know-all of, of entrepreneurship and running my own business. I, I, I welcome uh, mentorship. I welcome uh, experience. And I, I welcome some, someone that is willing to be a partner in, in this, in this uh, endeavor. And so, my, like I said, I'm by myself and I'm... And I am looking to develop a, uh, my team for Rookie. And for me, uh, my teammates and uh, the people that I work with um, become a part of the family. And and once we all have the goal, the, the same goal, then I know that we're able to achieve beautiful things. And that's what I want for Rookie. I want the very best for it. And, that, and being the very best uh, for Rookie is making sure that our users, our clients are happy and are having the success they seek out. And for me to be able to do that, I know that I need a team with me. Of course, that's, that's uh, well, not, nothing is possible. 
in a big way with a with a great team. Uh, I think I will send you my resume right afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really will be a pleasure to work with you somehow. Um, from Startup Grind, uh, we try to help uh, entrepreneurs like you uh, just starting a new business, a new endeavor, uh, and other more consolidated startups to connect between each other, to connect to uh, another founders and other uh, potential partners. That's our mission to you know make friends, not contacts, uh, help others before help ourselves. Yeah. Since we have, as you as, as you mentioned, we have information, we know things, uh, but we try to share, we try to connect, we try to help, we try to improve. Uh, and this is part of our mission and uh, and our goals as well as organization. Um, for, for as a last question, as a last question, which will be the first country that will be available uh, for the MVP to get on board? As in the the countries that for the land, for the MVP, yes. Uh, we are working with Spain. Sweden, Finland, uh, Belgium, and we and of, of course we are opening it directly to the American market as well, as well as we have it, it, uh, Italy and Portugal. So a lot of the Southern Europe, um, but also in the north a bit as well. Okay, okay, that's great. And what about Andorra? Andorra is included. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm still getting used to the separation because it's not the same. But when I say Spain, I I mean and Andorra, of course. Andorra, of course, we. The skiers here have such a big advantage. So um, uh, Andorra, of course, is one of the players, the um, countries that we want to invite the, uh, them to be our first testers, our, our MVP, our MV first MVPs. <laughs> That's right. I think that with that, you just make everybody happy, uh, including me, <laughs> if I live here as well as you. So. Um, Let's have a few minutes if there's some uh, any questions in in the chat, any comments that um, the audience wants to share with us. I really appreciate your time, Sheila, for being with us today um, to show us uh, your project, your idea. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, I think you. Thank you, Mark, Marius, Jordi. It's been it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, like I said, this is this is my baby. So being able to share it with with startup grind and and all of these very really ambitious entrepreneurs is it's I feel very privileged. Yes. Okay, you know you're you're our second guest this year, the first uh, women guest in in the short period of startup grind Andorra. I'm really pleased. Uh, to see how well entrepreneurship is not only for men, it's not gender. Um, it doesn't have gender. Mm -hmm. Everyone can be an entrepreneur. Uh, everyone with an idea and the commitment to make it real uh, can be an entrepreneur. And we, we welcome here with us to share the endeavor, the, the project, the goals. And we will try to make uh, whatever we, we, we can uh, to help, of course. Uh, okay, Jordi has a question for you. He, he would like to know um, how you make front of to your investment. How do I present or, or go after or how do I face my investment? So how am I uh, seeking investment? Uh, the first and why is through Kickstarter. Um, I think that uh, we, I've launched a, prod, launched a Kickstarter to make begin to make rookie more available and well known without maybe communicating directly with me um if somebody's just interested in then maybe they want to support uh or back it uh without any equity uh the other, but i am reaching out to investors almost on a daily basis pitching the the rookie uh product uh, an app i have a pitch deck uh and i uh discuss uh what it is that we're, I'm looking for in each of the uh, meetings that I have for investment. Okay, Jordi, I think uh, it was pretty clear. Um, please, uh, can, can you share again uh, in the chat your contact information? Sure. So, 
anyone interested can reach in, uh, out to you and let more about the project and um, but who knows maybe you can find that partner you're looking for yes absolutely so here is my I've, I've actually including also social media for rookie and for for myself um Amazing. let's see if it all i think it's not gonna piece correctly i'll do one by one maybe i have to do let's see that's the app on that's on both on twitter and instagram this is the website where i have more information and this is my email as well and lastly um just in case you want to know more about me personally um i think i i'm very transparent this is my instagram account um you can learn a little bit more about me uh if you want more information about um directly about the the product uh rookie i have a pitch deck um and it's available to be sent out directly um giving you a better idea of uh the concept of the app and then and the investments that we're looking for okay uh sheila that's uh Amazing, thank you for sharing uh, your, your contact information with all of us. Uh, so this is time to say goodbye for, <laughs> for this evening. Uh, I would like to thank you. Thank you very, very much for your time, for being uh, part of this uh, new fireside chat of uh, Startup Rain Andorra. I would like to thank again to our partners, uh, Ingenico Working and High Five Andorra for let, let us uh, this uh, make this streaming uh, simultaneously. And uh, you will have, all of you will have news about our next event very soon. And uh, I truly wish you the very best. And please let uh, keep us posted about uh, anything new that happens with Rookie so we can uh, uh, reply, repost, uh, share with the community. And uh, let's keep in touch. Uh, okay. Thank you again. Have a, all of you a great, uh, great evening. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.